Here's something that should keep developers up at night. Governments trying to weaken encryption. This audience knows how important encryption is to keeping information safe and secure. Encryption stops snoopers from viewing the contents of emails and searches and prevents hackers from getting access to your sensitive information. But there's been a growing concern from some governments that encryption is getting too strong, hindering legitimate criminal investigations. In fact, just this summer, a hearing was held in Congress called Going Dark, Encryption, Technology, and the Balance Between Public Safety and Privacy. And over the last year, government officials have thrown around terms like golden keys, meaning that companies should create a set of master keys that would allow government agencies a backdoor to decrypt any communication when they need to decrypt it. Now, variants of this sort of approach are spreading. For instance, France recently passed a law that requires that secret code designed by the National Intelligence Agency be injected into service providers' infrastructure. Now, if this debate sounds familiar, that's because it is. Back in the 1990s, the White House pushed the Clipper chip, a system of key escrow in which a copy of each chip's unique encryption key would be stored by the government. Encryption was even classified as munitions in the United States, with strict limits on the type of encryption that could be exported and the maximum key length. So what changed? Well, for one, there were concerns about appropriate oversight and accountability for government access to user data, and the harms to commerce and innovation if people couldn't trust that their information was safe and secure. Moreover, a security expert Bruce Schneier has put it, you can't build a backdoor that only the good guys can walk through. Encryption protects against cyber criminals, industrial competitors, the Chinese secret police, and the FBI. You're either vulnerable to eavesdropping by any of them, or you're secure from eavesdropping from all of them. That's as true today as it was in the 90s. In fact, Schneier and a group of computer scientists recently released a paper explaining in detail why backdoors are a bad idea. Of course, law enforcement needs tools to ferret out illegal activity. And governments have a duty to protect their citizens. But that should happen through the front door, not a back door, by getting permission from a judge and using traditional time-tested legal processes like getting a warrant. That's this edition of What Should Keep Developers Up at Night. Sleep soundly. <laughs>